It's finally happened. I have barley belly. Nunca he visto una belleza como la que tienes tú, como una flor en la tierra de color rosa o azul. El negro de tu cabello como huele tu champú. Um, how do I even start this? Hello, this is a completely different way of intro in this video. I went to Bali a few months ago. I've got the last four days of my stay there that I haven't released yet. One, because it takes f***ing ages to edit and upload travel videos. And two, there isn't there isn't a two, it just takes so long to do. I look completely different to what I did six, I think it was four or five months ago. <laughs> Uh, let me just have a look at what I actually got up to because I've, I've got it all in my video. I went on a jungle tour in Bali. I was also severely hungover for context. I then got to my new hotel. I had a night out in Bali. It was the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, and then I got Bali Belly. So this is a guide on how to not get Bali Belly. Enjoy. Good evening. I didn't record an intro. I didn't have time. I didn't get in till 5 a.m. and I maybe got two, three hours sleep. I woke up to reception calling my room and the, I, I tell you what, I've never heard a phone go off so loud. It petrified me. I jumped up, answered the phone and my driver was here. What did I do today? I went on the jungle tour. I got to the location and met Wyan. Wayan, Wayan. He walked me to his hut, got me a coffee, and I started eating some weird fried banana bread, but it was good. Wayan took me around his garden, showed me his plants, and then he was showing me something really weird on his phone. I, I couldn't quite make it out. Wayan took us all around the jungle, and it was just so fun. I was not hungover in the slightest. We got down to a really nice waterfall, and he started telling me a story, and I fully understood what he was saying. A lot of people come here just for relax and then of course to the park and then the color cleaning here. Right. We're off to the cave. Next up on Wyan's list, the caves. I was quite scared to go into the cave. And then Maya the Nama. Then the other NPC started waffling about some other stuff that I just can't remember anything, but he spoke for a good five minutes. Yeah, hot in there, it's like a sauna. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a massive fan of caves, as you can probably tell, but uh, we got to the end of it. Whew. Wow. <sighs> I'm sweating so much. Maybe you'd like to take a picture here, in front of the cave? Yeah, why not? Putting the jokes aside and my hangover, the jungle tour was actually insane. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor and I'm on the force and you use the force, there's no problem. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor and I'm on the force and you use the force, there's no problem. Just in the jungle. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. There are no lions here, luckily. Uh, I don't think there's any monkeys here either. There was lizards and bats. Um, which I don't like either. I need a beer. Oh, done. That's us back. And I'm sweating my nut. Oh, about to have some lunch. And then, and then I'm just gonna do absolutely nothing for the rest of the day because I'm hanging out my ass. Best hangover cure ever. Oh my god. So we did the jungle tour. That was fun. Today was fun. I enjoyed it. And then I chilled by the pool. I recovered. Oh my God. Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? So housekeeping decided to come in my room and touch my stuff. And I'm just so bad at small talk. You good? Yes. All good, yeah? Yes. Good stuff, good stuff. The absolute awkwardness I am in. I was just sitting on the bathroom floor and uh, they've just come in and closed my blinds. But last night here, then to Noosa Dua. 
but I'm uh, so a couple days ago, matey boy bought me fruit. I, I didn't want the fruit, but I felt bad not taking it from him. So I've stored it in my room. And as fruit does, fruit spoils. And um, I I've thrown it in the bin. It's in a plastic bag, but it's leaked. Um, it it's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. So luckily I check out today, so hopefully they can clean that up. But um, yeah, I'm very sorry if any member of staff is watching this video. <laughs> today we are leaving the hotel, unfortunately, in Ubud. We're packing up everything, putting it in the suitcase, and we go to Nusa Dua. Left. Room tour. Front door. Oh, that was fucking sick. The bed. Shower. It's not even straight. The fuck. It just, it's just funny. The toilet. Can I get in here? It's just funny if I get in it, right? That's definitely not taking my weight, right? Well, it might. It is. It is taking my weight. Ow. Oh my god, it's catching my toes. Why it didn't open fully. The wardrobe. And for my favourite part, the door that leads nowhere. So after being walked to my hotel room, experienced the hotel room tour, I then decided to go out and explore. What's the plan right now? We're going to go explore this massive hotel. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get lost, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see where we go. Right, not being funny, but this place is a wham. I have no idea where anything is. I can see... A pool chair, pool chair, sunbed, sun chair. Why am I so confused? So after not knowing what a sunbed was called, I finally found one. Well, I'll have a little episode in the uh, the hotel room. I am by the pool and chilling out now. Uh, I'm gonna go and get a beer from the bar pool, which is right there. So I will put the camera down. You can watch me do it. I then spoke to my mate James on the phone. Um, I'm gonna plug his Instagram because he always shouts my stuff out on his Instagram. So uh, go and follow his Instagram. I then let James know how much money I had left from my holiday and it wasn't that much. 250, um, yeah, 250, but... Um... Right, I just left my camera on for some reason for about an hour while I get ready. I don't know how it's taken me an hour to get ready. I dropped coffee down my t-shirt, so I swapped it out. And um, I'm gonna go down to the hotel bar, have a beer and see if someone can tell me where to go out tonight because I have no idea. But I will take you with me and I will film my night. Just add a little bit to the video. See what fun we can get up to, but why not? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. Hiya pal, are you good? How are you? I'm okay, thank you. What's this? Spray, no spray, no layers, is it? Yeah, no worries. What, what I'll do, I'll go get some food and I'll come back, yeah? Go on, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. This your girlfriend? Oh, there we girlfriend? go, yeah. <laughs> you give me a rupee, don't worry, just not, not so much. So I, I have nowhere to put it right now. Yeah. That's why I come back before I leave. I, get, I buy it. How much? This boy, rupees. 350? Oh, good price. I, what I do, I'll go eat and then I'll come back. Because very quiet. You first customer for me. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. I, I, I'm hungry and then I'll come back because I have, I can't carry around a bag. No, just only one small bag, brother. Or you can put inside there. No, that open. won't fit in there. Open. Look the size the of it. The bottle just put inside. No, there. no. It'll okay. smash. It'll smash. I'll come back. I'll come back. I promise. 200 for you. Promise, 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 promise. I promise. I'll come back. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. <laughs> come on brother, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. I've got I'll come back, I promise, I promise, I promise. Uh, I go eat, I go eat. No no, I go eat. I think we can all tell I absolutely did not go back. And rumour has it he's still waiting for me. That was wild. Hi, uh, I love you too. Hi, I'm okay, thank you. What the f This place is mental. I was just walking down the street and I bumped into this guy called Mario. Hi, pal, you are you? You're English, you? Huh? English? Uh, Polish. Polish! Yeah, you are... I've been about 10 years in England. Mario is from Poland and Mario is a f 
legend. Where are you I'm, going? I'm, I'm like Mario, like a Super Mario. Like Super Mario. Well, you are Super, Super Mario. Mario. Yeah. 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 Come on. Luigi is my alter ego. Yeah. I'll be Luigi tonight. Oh, party. Yeah. 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 That's why I got my GoPro out tonight. I'm going to film it all and then show my mum. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Hi. It turns out Mario was basically my best mate. So we had some fun with him. That sounds a bit wrong, actually. We had a shot and then we had a cuddle. We were sat having a beer and then we were approached by the Balinese Dynamo. Right, if you if you can impress me, I'll give you some money, yeah? Okay, I get oh, go on, go on, go on. Impress me, impress you me. Stop. Stop. Don't tell me. The top one? Don't tell me. Yeah, one. Okay, okay, okay. I'll show the camera. Alright, oh, convenient. Very convenient. Stop. Say that one as well? Yeah? Well, oh, you saw that. You saw that. Mate, what are these cards, by the way? Anywhere, I'll put them back anywhere. Eat each one or one at a time? Up to you, you get some Okay, you turn away, you turn away, turn away. I put one at the top just to see what he says. Already? Yeah, man. You remember your cards? I remember my cards. He's good at shuffling, he's good at shuffling. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember, I remember. Go on, and the I next one. Put, top. put your hand up. Don't open, yeah? You don't, don't open. You remember that one? Yeah, 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 I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. Okay, okay, okay. This one, yeah? Maybe. I can put a top. Blow this one. You can blow. <laughs> yeah, you open, open, open. I blow? Yeah. Open. Open it. <laughs> There's no chance. There's no way. Okay. Okay. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Mate, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. You say hello to my mum. My mum. Go on, say hello to my mum. Oh, sorry, Mum. I then had to say my goodbyes to Mario. Mario, we're gonna say our goodbyes. Come on, come to me out, give me out. Good, 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 good to me. I'll, yeah, go, yeah, yeah. I'll go take care of yourself. You yeah. take care of yourself, yeah? I will. Yeah? I promise. Good man. I'm 42. Love. Yeah. I You're might. 24. I might see you tonight, maybe not. Listen, I'm 42, yeah, and I'm still alive. Love man. Thank you for tonight. I wish you. Uh, take care, day. take care, yeah? Happy In a bit. This moment of the video is when I got Barley Belly. If you don't know what Barley Belly is, let me explain. Barley Belly is basically when you get diarrhea and it's just awful. You can get it from contaminated water or, in my case, the ice in my f drink. The results of that later. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Please, please stop harassing me. As you can probably tell, I was a little bit drunk and I knew it was time to go home. So in Bali, you can't just get a cab. You have to just jump on the back of a moped. And my mum told me before I went not to jump on the back of a moped. So I jumped on the back of a moped. Yeah, hey, hello, mate. This one from my, yeah. my YouTube. I'm famous yeah. in my home. Yeah, I have no idea how I got home alive, but this is me driving home that night. Last night was interesting. Today, I feel a bit hungover, but I've gone and had breakfast. I've managed to go to the shop and get some water because I need some water. And apparently there's a sauna here. So I think the plan is to go have a sauna, sweat out the toxins, and then go get a tan on the beach. 
Welcome to the steam room. Okay. Jacuzzi pool, sauna room. Ah. That's it. Right, we'll go in that one. Right, time to suffer. I'd done my sauna and then I jumped in the ice plunge. Sauna, ice bath, done. Do I feel any better? Absolutely not. Right, we're going to find somewhere to eat. I walked around for about an hour and I couldn't find a restaurant anywhere. So I ended up getting a cab uh, to take me to Mackey's and the cab driver had my name down and I just thought this was really funny to share. So, he, so he's, he's got my name down as Mr. Bread. <laughs> So please refer to me as Mr. Bread from now on. So I arrived at McDonald's, entered the building, and ordered some food. Right, let's order and see what happens. So I picked up my food and sat down, but I sat down to a load of Germans next to me, and uh, I was gonna film myself eating my food, but I felt quite uncomfortable with all these Germans around me. I have nothing against Germans for the record, they were just around me. No, 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 no. You are waiting pizza? No. Okay, you can sit down, man. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, man. Alright, scram. This was the moment before I got Barley Belly. Um, whether it was the Mackies or the ice in my drink the night before, I don't know, but it hit me like a truck. It's finally happened. I have Barley Belly. I'm in no fit state to do anything. Hopefully I feel okay tomorrow. We'll see. Oh my God, I've had cold sweats. I've had a fever, I've had a headache, and I literally can't drink or eat anything without it going straight back through me. I'm down bad. Hello, I've ordered room service. Um, I don't know if I can even eat, but I've done it. I've ordered some egg fried rice with vegetables and some bread and then full fat Coke, because my mum always says, when you're ill, uh, having full fat coke can settle your stomach. I really, really don't like the taste of full fat coke when I'm ill because it reminds me of being sick. So we'll see how this goes, but yeah, see you in a sec. Oh my God, I feel horrid. Right, we've got bread, we've got Coca-Cola, which apparently my mum says sorts me out. And then, I mean, it's not quite egg fried rice, but um, I guess it will do. I guess I'll see you on the other side. I was literally up all night with liquid ass. Right, I am down bad. I've non-stop been my ass out for the past maybe three days now. Um, it's not good. <laughs> I'm, I've, I've lost a considerable amount of weight. I'm severely dehydrated and drained both physically and emotionally, uh, but we keep smiling. We get through the hard times. I'm gonna ask downstairs before I check out to get me some medicine. Um, I don't think I need a doctor, but I, honestly, I feel like a froob. It just goes through me like, and it and it's, it's no joke either. It's just onset, like it's, there's no warning. It's just like, right, I need to and then I and then I feel good for about half hour and then it just, comes again. I look down but I look awful. I'm not even thinking straight. I don't even want to eat. Okay. See you on the other side. Right. <laughs> oh, I just want to go down to the beach and not feel like I'm gonna shit myself. It kind of ruined the rest of my uh, holiday in Bali. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <sighs> We've decided to go for a walk. We are here. Um, man, look at that scenery. Though. Wow. A long time ill. Had to go for a walk. I feel like I'm gonna myself right now. But this is how I feel. Brad, insert uh, tough people, tough people last, or whatever it's say. The guy who goes, Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. So that was it. I packed up my bags, checked out the hotel, and I had to fly to Kuala Lumpur and I was there for 24 hours, but I was so ill that I just didn't even record any of it. But that was my last few days in Bali and the last episode in Bali. Hello, right, that's the end of it. If you've watched from the start, 
of my Bali adventure. Uh, I mean, this was the start of my YouTube adventure and actually filming myself. So it means a lot to me if you've seen from episode one all the way through to now. Uh, and even if you've got this far in the video, that means a lot. I was just watching the rest of the footage and I just wanted to point this bit out. There's a woman drinking water. I'll probably overlay it right now. I was walking onto the plane and there's a woman just drinking water and I just found it hilarious. Um, sorry, I'm really mean. But I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's watched my videos, liked my videos, subscribed and commented or had any interaction with my channel or any of my stuff online um it, it does really mean a lot to to have people tell me how good my videos are or how entertaining they are and it's a massive boost so i just wanted to take this moment of gratification and say thank you to you guys i've got a lot of video ideas coming so stay tuned subscribe now and ciao